Punches in there, and they're going to do damage. Right hand to the body from Anderson. Down. And a knockdown scored halfway Three. through round one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Done. Perez is done. And Anderson has himself a first round knockout and a mighty big smile. He didn't look for a knockout. The knockout just came. You see right here, he just came behind the jab, just placed a shot right to the side and came right back to the head with a right hand and a left hook. Took his time, got distance, landed another shot behind the head, and that's what did it. Beautiful sequence of punches. Here we see again, came behind the jab. That's the key point. Set that shot up. His opponent was covering himself up, trying to protect himself. Anderson was patient. That's the shot. He was patient enough to get that shot in. Down goes Perez and fight over. You gotta do something, kid. You gotta do something. You hear the voice of Ortega, the referee, saying, Pena, you've got to do something. He has not done anything. Why Ortega has let it go this, go this far, I have no idea. This fight could have been stopped a minute ago. Pena is wobbling around. Absolutely no reason for this fight and to continue. It, it ends about a minute and a half late, but it ends with what was inevitable. And that's what we saw with Jared Anderson against Luis Pena. Yeah, Jer you mentioned manager Jared Anderson's career. Russell Mora oh, is telling Kingsley eBay, you got to show me something. He's thinking about stopping the oh, fight with goodness. the damage eBay is taking. Big guy, former football player, 6'4", 276, and he's absorbing a lot of punishment. And a big left hand will end the night. Jared Anderson, 8 for 8, explosive finish. He's still out, Joe. He's still out. Hurt bad. You know, Anderson being very smart right there, feigning before he actually attacked. Nice block right there and came back with offense and caught him with a nice, beautiful short left hook in the inside, right on the chin. eBay was, was pretty much ready to go, you know? And we said early on that he had to get a little more consistent with his offense. And if he gets a little bit more consistent with his offense, he could get the stoppage. Yeah, he closed the show just like we said, and you could see in the eyes of, of eBay that he was ready to go. But, you know, he's been around the game long enough to, to know how to survive, and Anderson didn't give him that opportunity. A great step back, beautiful right hand to the top of the head, and a left hook that literally turned the lights out of eBay. That was the Sports Center type 10 shot, top 10 shot that we were talking about. Oh, you are going to see that everywhere. That right hand to the temple. We talked, we discussed it a little bit in the fighter meeting, and I said, "Well, well, champ, what did you see?" And he said, "Well, he does have some heart." And I said, "I don't think so." Right hand, left hand. Teslenko crumbles to the ground. Six, seven, eight, nine. Walk to me. That's it. Yep. It is over. I mean, that was pure power from Jared Anderson. 11-0, 11 knockouts. It's a beautiful finish from Anderson, just taking his time, taking his time, jabbing, blinding Teslinko, so he land that big shot. That shot, he threw that shot in the first round, but wasn't able to land it. Here we see again, just a flick, eyes closed from Teslinko. He thought another jab was coming, but it was a right hand to the temple, and then you see the big man go down, and you see Anderson, he just, Teslinko, he, could, he got up, but he was done, and that was a great stoppage from the referee, but again, it was set up. It was intentional, and he was mindful about what he was doing, and this is the kind of results you get. Big baby. See so you right there on the mouthpiece. 